Our next factor is the heavy bone uh, weight above air mass above the heavy bone threshold. Now this is down at number 12 on the list only because it doesn't mount the hill of beans on the soft tissue hit. But when you hit a heavy bone, this becomes highly important. It's right behind the structural integrity of the air and the flight quality. It matters more than just about anything else when you start hitting heavy bone. Now we have tested and tested and tested and tested extensively trying to pin down exactly where this is. And it's somewhere around 650 grains and it's very, very close to that. It is definitely above 625. So it's, it's somewhere in that frequency right in there. Now, a lot of people misinterpret that. The heavy bone threshold doesn't mean that if you get to 650 grains, your air is gonna go through the heavy bone every time. What it means is I don't care what broadhead you choose to use. When you reach 650 grains, there's gonna be an abrupt jump in the frequency of breaching that bone. So if you have a really poor performing bone broadhead, it might only penetrate the bone eight or 10% of the time below threshold. And when it reaches that threshold value weight, it might get up to 16, 17%. Your very, very best broadheads reach 100% when you're above heavy bone threshold. Now the extreme FOC has no effect on it. We didn't know that at the early stage of the test. We had to do a lot of testing to verify that. But it doesn't matter what the FOC of your area is as far as breaching the bone. But it does make a big difference on the penetration you get after you breach the bone. So if you're breaching the bone, then the FOC comes into play again. But as far as getting through it, it has no effect at all. The other interesting thing is that impact force has very, very little effect on it. In other words, you can take an arrow and shoot it at low velocity and high velocity, a below threshold error, and there's very little change in the frequency with which it will breach a heavy bone. What matters is the amount of push on that bone. So you can hit it really hard, but that doesn't do you any good. But if you hit it and push on it long enough so that it exceeds its movement, exceeds its flexion, then it will start to breach the bone. So it was really no surprise when I got to thinking about it that it was dependent upon the weight of the error because that push depends on the momentum. And the weight of the error is the most important factor in the momentum of the error. Now this is one of the charts where we were looking at, and I've done probably several hundred charts trying to pin this threshold down. This was in 2004, 2005, and this is for all the structurally secure errors. All were normal to higher FOC. There's no EFOC in this one. Uh, and it's for all the broadheads. And when we look at errors that are less than 600 grains, everything up to 600 grains, we've got a 51% breaching rate. When we went to 550 to 600, so we're just eliminating the really light errors, it jumps only to 55%. If we go 600 to 650, it moves up to 60%, not a big jump. But when we move to 625 to 700 grains, there's a 21% jump in the breaching rate, all the way up to 81%. Then if we just remove that bottom 25% and look at 650 to 700 grain errors, we're now at 93% breaching. But now this chart can be a little misleading for you because this again is 2004, 2005. All the junk broadheads are out of the testing by this point. These are all, what, what you have to think of is the better broadheads that are out there today. Uh, but you also need to realize that there are some broadheads that hit 100% when you hit 650 grains. And that did not seem to depend on single bevel or double bevel, but on the mechanical advantage of the broadhead. When you reach a mechanical advantage of, of 2.6 or greater, that seemed to be the break point. Everything that was 2.6 and more breached the bone 100% of the time when the error weight was above 650 grains. Now, the one thing you see with the advantage of the single bevel is below threshold, it does have a higher bone breaching rate than a matching double bevel head. So you're getting some benefit of that single bevel even when you're below threshold. But when you get above threshold, all those, and I think just about all of the single bevels that are out there now are reasonably high mechanical advantage. And you can get through those heavy bones quite well.